this is a digital logic question based upon counters we are having a three bit counter that is designed explicitly using t flip flops as it is shown over here there are three t flip flops connected to each other tp tq and tr forming a counter so for this one we have to assume that the initial state given by pqr is triple zero all the inputs are zero at the start so what will be the next three states of this counter that has to be determined so how do we proceed for this we will be starting with determining the truth table of t flip flop and that we already know that if the value is zero then the next state is given the same as the previous state which means the latch state why if it is one then we toggle in this case the next state qn plus one will be the inverse of or the complement of qn given as qn bar so that is the two table of the t flip flop and using that now we will be filling up this table the initial state which is already given to us in terms of pqr as triple zero so from this we will be determining the current state and the next state how do we get the current state by looking at this diagram as we can see this tp where does it get its value from we will trace back this line and we can see that tp is taking its value from r which means tp equal to r similarly we can see that tq we trace this input tq is given as p complement similarly for tr the value it is taking is this one that is q complement so now using these we will be filling the current states so tp is r so we simply copy this value of r from here which is 0 for tq we need to take the p complement p is 0 so p complement will be 1 and what about tr tr is q complement so q is 0 its complement will be 1 so 0 double 1 is the current state that we have got and now based upon this what will be the next states that we have to determine so if tp is 0 and the input is also 0 then we will be staying in the latch mode hence the value of tpn which means the next state will also be 0 similarly coming to q tq is 1 and q input is 0 so again that is a latch mode So TQN will be same as TQ, which is one. And now coming to TRN, that is the next state for R. Again, we can see the input R is zero, so that will also be a latch mode. So the same input of TR will be copied over there. So the current state was zero double one, and the next state we got is also zero double one. So initially we were at this. The next state we got from triple zero is. Zero double one. So now that becomes zero double one comes here. Using that now we'll be determining what is the current state and the next state. So let's apply the same thing. As we say, TP is R. Here R is one, so TP will become one. TQ will be P complement. P is zero, so its complement will be one. And for TR, just Q complement. Q is one, so complement is zero. So we've got the current state. Now using this, we have to determine the next state. So coming to TP next, the input is zero, so that will be a latch mode. Hence, TP itself will be TP next, which is one. Now coming to TQ next state, Q is one, so this will be a toggle mode. In this case, TQ n will be complement of TQ because of the toggle. So here TQ is one, so TQ n will be complement of it, which is zero. Similarly, coming to R, R is one, so that will also be a toggle mode. TR is zero, so TR next will be one. So the next state that we got from this is one zero one. From TP n, TQ n, and TR n, we got that as first it was zero double one. Then it was one zero one. So we have got two states after triple zero. One more has to be determined because we wanted next three states. So moving on to the last one. Currently we have got one zero one that comes over here. So now we determine the current state. TP is R, so it becomes one. TQ is P complement, so zero. And 
TRS Q complement that is 1. Now for the next state, T is 1, so toggle mode. TP is 1, so TP next becomes 0. Now Q is 0, so latch mode. TQ is 0, so TQN will also be 0. Now R is 1, so that is uh, again toggle mode. TR is 1, so TR next will be 0. So the next state we got is again triple 0. So what are the three states that we got after triple 0? The first one was 0 double 1. This one. After that we got 1 0 1. And after that we came back to triple 0. Now will this be counted or not? Definitely it will be counted because they asked us the next three states after triple 0. Now if we are coming back to triple 0 then it is also allowed. We will simply be reporting the next three states as 0 double 1, 1 0 1 and triple 0. So as it is given in the option fourth, the last one 0 double 1, 1 0 1. No this one is not correct. We will be going with the option first 0 double 1, 1 0 1 and triple 0. So option 1 is the correct answer.